We are back again with chat GPT rivals deck. Uh, Janka Joe has asked chat GPT for an unstoppable rivals deck and this is what chat GPT has come back with. Um, I'm a little concerned that chat GPT doesn't know that you have to kill infantry in rivals because it's only given me rifleman and wolverine. So in its infinite wisdom it may have left a small gap in our deck there. Uh, but yeah, this is the deck chat GPT wants us to play. We're gonna see has chat GPT improved Since the last time we did this which was in May last time chat GPT recommended <laughs> Is this right last time it recommended missile pitbull predator borker zone trooper mammoth Solomon So I think that it's maybe I actually can't tell if this deck is better than that deck or not It looks better on paint like when you first look at it You'd be like oh, yeah, it's definitely better But actually at least the other deck had Borker which could kill basically everything And this deck has no answer to flamers or shocks or chems or mutants any heavy infantry this deck will just fold Even once you get to Wolverine I don't know why I said Wolverine even once you get to Wolverine This unit doesn't really beat Grens and mutants that well like it's okay against them. but It's not insane so anyway, um, we're going to try it out. <laughs> Let's see if chat GPT's in record can improve. Last time we played it, it wasn't in unranked either. It was in like a crate challenge. And let me see how many wins we got. It looks like we got six. Three. Yeah, last time we got six wins with chat GPT deck. And that was in crate challenge rather than unranked. So let's see if chat GPT can improve his record. Of currently six wins with a GDI deck. I mean, the deck is the deck looks better, but the problem is loads of people are going to go like Flamer as one of their first units, and then I just can't win. Like if they, if people go Flamer, 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 I literally have no outs. Like I can't play the game anymore. I'm just immediately dead. <laughs> so I just think that's going to be a bit of a critical issue with the deck. I think that's going to be a bit of a problem. And we're going to see that come up several times during the run where I just fold to people having, um, I'm just going to fold to people having heavy infantry of any kind. I'm hoping to try and like take out this bike with the rifle support. I hope, uh, I'm hoping the bike would finish it, like the rifles would finish it off, but it didn't happen. Is he going to, I also, how do I beat tank? I have orca, right? Okay, I can beat tanks. I can beat tanks, I just can't beat big infantry units. So we just need to hope we don't play against flamers, chems, mutants, uh, grenadiers, shocks. All of these units would be a loss. I think snipers also, probably. I don't think we can really beat snipers. Because if someone makes sniper missile, it's over, right? There's nothing you can do. So yeah, a few holes in the deck. Chat GPT, not yet an expert in rivals. I feel like I played this guy in my last challenge. I played a guy in the last challenge who just could not beat Pitbull. And this guy seems to be playing exactly the same deck. Just lose to Pitbull deck. I mean, I'm surprised he's still playing, honestly. Alright, well, Chat GPT has nailed it for our first game. Because it gave us Pitbull, and this guy couldn't beat Pitbull. So that's a good start. Alright, 1-0 for chat GPT. Feels good, man. Enemy base destroyed. Establishing battlefield control. Bobcat from Italian League. Three, two. The Wolverine is so far away as well. Like, if we get into trouble against heavy infantry, it's just not remotely reasonable. It's not remotely reasonable to try and wait out for a Wolverine. Oh, is this guy AFK? He's drone swarm opening. That's fine, man. We have Pitbull. We'll be okay. We have Pitbull and Hammerhead and missiles. Although I am not going to use missiles here. I'm just going to run away and wait for Pitbull. He probably... Actually, do I wait for Hammerhead? He probably goes Orca second unit. Although he didn't build a half, right? He literally just went drone swarm first unit. Nah, we should just go pitbull, because even if he does go walker, we can beat it with mass pitbulls. So it's not really a problem. Unit ready. 
Oh, hello. We went missile second unit. Interesting. Didn't make the Orca as I predicted. Oh, he did have Orca. Surprised he didn't make it. Ah, oh, sad. My pit were low enough to kill them both with one Orca. Um, Wolverine looks really good in this matchup, but obviously getting to Wolverine is a tricky prospect. We are not close to Wolverine. We would need another 130 or so for a Wolverine. Oh no, Grens. Uh oh, Grens are definitely going to be a problem. I've mentioned this recently in my videos, I think, but we timed how long it takes a rifle squad to kill a Gren squad, and it's like 38 seconds or something. Which is, if you consider that a game of rivals is like 2 minutes 30 most of the time, <laughs> like 38 seconds is like fully one fifth of the length of a rivals game to kill a grenadier squad with a rifleman. Alright, we have the Wolverine. I don't think this guy can beat Wolverine, you know. I think Wolverine's just gonna be GG. I think it's all over for him. Oh, he even moved into the Wolverine. What a mad lad. Definitely making more Wolverines here. There's no way he beats Wolverines. Yeah, it's over. Wolverine insane. His deck was very weak to Wolverine. You are victorious. Battlefield control. Bobcat again. I'm gonna open missiles, I think. He opened Drone Swarm last time. I don't want to commit overly on missiles if he's gonna go Drone Swarms, but I could definitely start with at least one missile. Maybe even two. Maybe I'll wait and see if he actually makes the Drone Swarm again. Oh, he went Rhino this time. Uh oh. Rhino's way better than Drone Swarm. Isn't that funny? That's the world we live in now. Never would have thought my I, I, like just, like a few years ago you'd never say that right like Rhino is way better than Drone Swarm but it's just so true right now. Rhino absolutely slaps Drone Swarm at the moment. What is that? Another Rhino, sure. Use the mighty turret. I feel like mighty turret should be great here. Yeah, this has to be my missile now. Chat GPT just absolutely nailing it with this deck suggestion. Not a single person has had heavy infantry yet. It is a powerful AI, so it might have like run the numbers and worked out that my opponents were not going to have shocks and flames. It's like yeah, just play this deck, bro. Don't worry about don't worry about shocks and flames. They they don't exist and they can't hurt you. Let's get an orca for his uh, rhino. I don't know if orca is actually a good choice because it slows down my substantially slows down my wolverine, which as we saw last game was was nuts. It is good versus rhino though. It does have that going for it. Pretty close to Wolverine, especially if we kill this half. Oh, we have Wolverine now, nice. I don't want the Wolverine to attack into the Gren. I'm trying to push it up to a point where it'll have defender's advantage. Like here. It's gonna die, but it'll take out a lot of, it'll do a lot of damage, hopefully. Didn't, well, no, I did pretty, pretty, pretty significant damage. Can't really complain about the results from that Wolverine. Yeah, this guy can never beat Wolverine. I don't know what's in his deck, but he can't beat Wolverine. Objective complete. Control. 
Johnny Cage. Let's hope Johnny Cage also does not know about shock troopers. Wolverine best unit in game. Wolverine is certainly very good against someone whose entire deck is infantry and air. It's like a big rhino. The fact that he has rifles is really good for me because it means he's unlikely to have shocks. Chat GPT accurately predicting the meta game here. Oh, blind double half. Love to see it. Well, not blind, I guess, because he has this scout. But he went half scout half. I don't want to make a fourth rifleman. That would be a mistake. Yeah, especially since he's got an air tower now. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Not sure where he's going with it. Where is he going? It's all the way to the back pad. What a bold play. I suspect we'll see an orca soon. To kill my pitbull. Borker! Oh my. Well, that was unexpected. Double half Borker. It's going to be tough for him since I have Hammerhead. He's running out of time here. He's going to need to get on with it if he wants to win. I like, I like that he went for my harvester, though. <laughs> ah, now you want to come back? Unfortunately, the game has ended. <laughs> Unfortunately, Johnny, the game has ended. The Bastion. This guy looks like a shock trooper player. Solomon, half, pretty late. I guess it's not that late. This guy looks to me like a shock trooper player though. Which is, does not bode well for us. I see a war factory opening. What if it's Rhino? That would be a nightmare. What if it's nothing? It's Pitbull. What an odd choice. Okay, I too have Pitbull. It is Shatterer. Oh my god. And so the nightmare begins. My rifle up top did quite a lot of damage to that pit bull. Since it was left alone the whole time. It looks like we're just spamming pit bulls this game. That looks like my best unit. I, could, I guess I could get a missile in there. Just to mix up my unit types. Or I could just win the game with these three pit bulls. That works too. Wow, this was this was not a close game. Oh, come on, conquer rivals! All right, Chat GPT, absolutely nailing it. You are victorious. Battlefield control. Three, two, one. New objective received. All right. Halo playing Oxana. I know I've said this before, chap, but I really am feeling it this time. I think Flamers for sure now. Bike Rush, you say? So rude. This, I think, is not a great map for a Bike Rush. Oh, he's fully committing as well. He's got actual no half now. He's built the barracks as well. He's just fully no halving. It doesn't really matter what happens to my missile troopers as long as I clear out the bikes. It's like this top one that died to the missile, died to his rifles. I don't really care. The important thing is that we clear out his bikes. Like trading for the bikes is good for us. Now we go pitbull because we need mobile anti-vehicle, so we can really fend off the. The bikes. 
Our biggest issue here is obviously going to be that we have to fight rifles with rifles, heads up, because there's nothing. we have no other units that can fight infantry. But at this point, his bike rush has pretty clearly failed. Wish I had a way to kill my own harvester. That'd be great. Oh, he surrendered. All right, cool. Chat GPT nailing it once again. Objective complete. Three, okay. Two, this is not good because our opponent, our opponent's commander power is flamers. So we know for sure that our opponent has flamers this game. They are 70 cost flamers, which is nice, but we know for sure he has flamers. And it's not really about the cost efficiency of the flamers. It is more about the fact that at some point near the end of the missile, flamers are going to come out. Our opponent's going to have additional pop cap than us because they've spent because they've managed to get the flamers out. At that point, we are going to have to. Uh, at that point, we're going to have to try and kill flamers with rifles, and they will have popped out of the out of the ground. And he'll have an extra unit, and that's going to be a real big issue for me. So that I predict is going to be where things fall apart a little bit. If he doesn't do it first missile though, it's really good for us. Because the later it goes, the more likely we are to have Wolverine. And if we have Wolverine, we don't care about the drill pod at all. So actually, this is really good that we won this first missile. Scavenger, you say? Scavenger is pretty annoying for me. <laughs> Because I have to throw 10 costs repeatedly, which means he's going to be quite easy for him to farm money. Oh dear. Oh, I have Orca. It's not too bad. It's not like auto loss world. Obviously, it's not an ideal spot, though. Oh, we got the Giga. No, the Orca misfires. Ah, oh, Orca, why would you do this to me, bro? That is such a beating right there. Well, what are you doing over here, Rifleman? Ah, there, there it is. That's bad for me. If I had Orca, like, loaded nearby, I could maybe have used an Orca volley to clear, to clear the pod. That would have been good. Yeah, this is not good. This is very bad. This Rifleman is so difficult for me to kill. It's rifle, uh, this flamer, sorry, not rifleman. This flamer is insanely hard for me to clear. Okay, we can get Wolverine now. That's actually huge. Yeah, I need Orcas and Wolverines. That's going to be my best chance to win. It's just going to be Orcas and Wolverines. Yeah, let's go, Wolverine. Wolverine saves the day, boys. Insane. <laughs> let's go. Wolverine is the bomb. All right, so we've reached seven wins. With 7-0, ChatGPT clearly has improved its abilities since last time it picked a deck. Because last time we went 6-4. Although, to be fair, it was Crate Challenge versus Unranked. Crate Challenge is a little bit trickier. Maybe we should have waited till Crate Challenge to do this challenge. To see if ChatGPT, like, you know, gets similar conditions. I don't think I ever loved Talon either. I played Talon, but I don't think there's really any GDI stuff that I loved because GDI sucks. I only loved Nod things. That's a lot of dogs, my dude. I don't know if I have time to get to the bottom pad, so I should have definitely sent Pitbull down. That was a mistake. Yeah, I don't have time, do I? Oh, he just left me on. Feels good, man. Sometimes people miss their block. It do be that way. Oh, 
Oh, in fact, I'm about to be the guy who misses the block. Oh no, here we go, we managed it. We should be fine here. Oh no, shock troopers! Thank god we won this first missile, because... <laughs> as we've discussed several times, I cannot kill a shock trooper or a flamer. So... We need to just, like, we need to just stall now. And desperately hope that we can make it to, um... Desperately hope we can make it to Wolverine. We're not that far off. Wolverine is quite cheap. We are pretty close to Wolverine. And once we get Wolverine, we can uh, we can fight the shock troopers. Oh, it's a predator tank. That also would have fucked me first missile. This guy's deck was really good against me first missile if he'd actually made the unit. Oh, this is annoying. I need Orca. I need to go. I think I have to make Orca before I make Wolverine. I think it's more important to kill this tank than it is to kill the shock troopers. I think the tank is actually a bigger threat because the tank can kill my half. Which the shocks cannot. Oh, it's Puckinator's favorite unit, the tank. All right, Wolverine, it's your time to shine. Let's go. Shit, I haven't got anything top. Let's go, Wolverine. No, it's gonna be too slow. Yeah, it's way too slow. The fact that tank exists in his deck also really bad for me because he can tank my Wolverines. I think a Wolverine beats a Pitbull. It's like not a good matchup, obviously. You don't want to fight it, but I think the Wolverine wins. Predator is the unit I'm most scared of now. I think I win. I don't see how he gets. I don't see how he comes back into this. Too many Wolverines. Can't kill him. Wolverine, let's go. You can really start pumping out Wolverines. Like 80 is not that expensive once you open the tech lab up. Brawler. Building online. Okay, Brawler. Please don't be a shock trooper, man. Unit ready. You got it. We've got infantry moving out. You let's reporting. Rifleman ready. He's opened missile troopers, which means he's definitely a shock trooper player. Or he could be MG, and he could be. Oh, hello. He went Rhino next unit. That's really good for us. That's so good for us. Because normally you'd expect shock troopers after the missile opening. Oh, he is MG. Oh my god. So good at the guessing game, chat. <laughs> so good at the guessing game. Nice MG, bro. MG MLRS? Insane. Insane levels of toxicity. <laughs> Alright, let's get an Orca. Hopefully we can just pop the... I actually think... I have to kill this Rhino. It sucks, but I think I actually do have to shoot the Rhino there. Oh, wow! Bro! That's a sad day to be him. That is a very sad day to be him. Uh, Alright, I have such bad anti-infantry. I guess we're just waiting for Wolverine. Yeah, we can do rifles for the bottom for now. But otherwise, we're waiting for Wolverine for the top. I assume a Wolverine will easily crack an MG. Like, he's going to have to block a lot for a, an MG to beat a Wolverine. You have to, like, block out of his mind. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this. This is going to be fun. Fucking love killing MGs, chat. It's, like, my favorite thing. What, he's got an APC now? 
All right, it's fine. We'll still, we'll still crack, we'll still crack it. It's no problem. Oh yes, feels so good to watch that thing just implode. Watching a, uh, watching a thing, watching an MG implode. This is my favorite part of Rival, like hands down. Easy win, boys. Easy win. Not the best map for him, but then he did choose to play this deck in a map uh, in a, an event that has Orbit as a map, so it's kind of on him. Nine wins, chat GPT deck insane. Three, two, All right, last game. If we can win this, then chat GPT is a master. Because so far, chat GPT's choice to give us basically no anti-infantry hasn't actually been that bad. Which is surprising, because I thought I was going to get crushed by flamers and shocks, like, a lot. But actually, we managed to navigate victories against them. Yo, don't make flamers. Be a bro, don't make flamers. He hasn't made flamers yet. This is taking a long time. He would have made flamers by now if he was going to make them. Yes, Chuggy. We'd love to see it. Imagine a world in which you're excited to see Chemical Buggy from your opponent. That's <laughs> it's a brave new world of rivals when Chemical Buggy is a unit that I'm excited to see. Rather than like, oh my god, Chemical Buggy again. What a time to be alive, chat. Oh my god, I can't believe he didn't get on the pad. <laughs> Amazing. His deck might be super weak to Wolverine. Like, he, he looks like his deck might be really weak to Wolverine. He does have Stealth Tank. Stealth Tank doesn't do that much damage, though. He might not be able to beat Wolverine with Stealth Tank. Uh, Stealth Tank doesn't too- oh wow. I was gonna say Stealth Tank doesn't two-shot Harvester anymore. I guess the additional damage was enough. This is still gonna be really tough. Let's go for the half again. I really hope I beat this mutant. If I don't beat this mutant, we're in trouble. Come on Wolverine, you can do it. Yeah, Wolverine's gonna beat the mutant, no problem. Let's go, Wolvo. Let's fucking go, boys. Wolvo too strong. It's over. He knows it's over. I know it's over. 10-0. Chat GPT GDI. Substantially better than the 6-4 result from last time. Chat GPT has clearly learned how to make a decent deck. <laughs> Great job, Chat GPT. Maybe we'll do the Nod one again and see if we get better than last time. Yeah, there you go. 10-0 with ChatGPT deck. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you all next time.